Here is the sales history data set that we created earlier. I'm going to duplicate this data set that in turn has created a sales history copy. I'm going to open this data set. All the tables in this data set are based on one Oracle database connection. And you can see for each of the table tabs here at the bottom, um, you'll see an Oracle connection type. I'm going to delete the products table that we had. I'm going to add a new connection to this data set. And I have an Northwin database here. I'm going to pick a products table from here. I'm going to join this products table with sales. Pick the product ID column for the join condition. You'll see sometimes you know these columns are grayed out. Um, that's because it's you know by default treated as a measure because it's a number. Clicking on it will let you change it into an attribute and create a join condition. I'm going to rename this data set to a sales history. Let's just say Oracle plus Hive data set. This data set is supposed to have a hybrid icon like this one, the federated data set here. Um, let's, you know, there's a bug of, for, for now it's showing um, you know, Oracle connection type. Let's go ahead and open this data set in a project. So you see the products table from a Hive connection and sales is coming from an Oracle database. Let's just take um, product name and quantity sold. And there you go. So you have data, you know, this visualization is based on one data set that has um, data coming from a high data source and an Oracle database.